start with a bit of history. There was a pioneering district judge, um, Nicholas Crichton. Sadly, he's passed away now. Um, and he was watching very closely uh, a project in California where they had a completely different approach to handling parents with drug addictions. Um, he was so inspired by that approach that he started the very first family drugs and alcohol court in the court where he sat in Wells Street in London. And what prompted that really was his experience of having to remove the 14th child of a mother who sadly wasn't able to conquer her drug addictions. And he learned that the best way to avoid that kind of misery um, was to support parents to keep their children. So the FDAC approach was very different. It was a problem solving court, not adversarial, not judgmental, and substance abuse and addiction was being treated as a health problem. There was an understanding that that misuse might be a symptom of an underlying issue or the barrier which prevents a parent from addressing an underlying issue. And even in its early days, there was some success to be noted. So let's talk about practice and procedure and how you get into the system. Um, there's a before court set of procedures and then there's a set of procedures when you're in court. The very first step for FDAC is the local authority. And usually it's in PLO work um, because most often families where you've got drugs and alcohol misuse issues will be known to the local authority. And the situation um, tends to escalate because child in need work or child protection work hasn't been successful and the PLO um, has to be invoked. Within that PLO system, there will be solicitors representing parents um, who have hopefully learned about the FDAC court. It will be in their minds. Um, and if you're lucky, luckily enough to be in an area that offers the FDAC court, of course, the social worker will have thought about it and gauged the opportunity to consider the suitability of that parent to be part of the FDAC system. 